Could you please explain the creative vision behind El Shaddai? What was the sort of the, the, the first idea that, that he wanted to perceive? Yeah, originally, uh, at the very beginning, uh, our headquarter asked me to create something based on the Book of Enoch from the Old Testament. That's how it started. What's, what's your relationship to the Old Testament and, and so on? Originally, I didn't know much about it, but uh, since I got the, the order from the headquarters, I I read it for the first time, and I find it I found it very interesting. Could you could you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing behind you? A bit about the the ideas behind the visual. It's, I think the the art style is pretty much really uh, my original style. It, it's very much my style. What I try to do for visuals is that I, I try to make it simple with uh, using uh, minimum colors. Uh, it's very beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, could you tell us about the, the main protagonist, Enoch, and, uh, and his, uh, his part of the story, and, and why, is he, uh, why is he here in this, uh, this world and this situation? Enoch is the only human that God had kind of approved. He's the writer for God, uh, although he's human. And the reason he's on the earth is because God found that uh, there's a trouble on the earth because of the fallen angels. And the God sent Enoch on the earth to bring back the uh, fight and bring back the fallen angels. And so that's why he's on the earth. Lucifer, could you tell us about his involvement and uh, and what kind of character he's? So, uh, Lucifer is kind of like a, he's watching over Enoch and, and kind of supervising and guiding and cooperating with Enoch, working with him. First of all, um, Lucifer is the top rank archangel uh, that's working for God. He can travel through time. Many, uh, Any time, so God ordered him to um, to see the human future in advance and just see everything that happens in the history. So, and he's doing that, you know, travel, traveling through the times, and then and God orders him to help uh, Enoch's mission throughout his journey. So. The protagonist and Lucifer work together throughout the game. Could you tell us a little bit about the decision to mix uh, 2D platforming with uh, third-person action sequences and, and what uh, you wanted to achieve with, with these two elements? I chose to mix those 2D platforming and 3D uh, elements together in order for people to not get bored uh, throughout the long play, um, so I wanted to incorporate like changes and rep refreshments for the players to constantly be entertained. So, if you would compare working on this game to previous projects you worked on, uh, is there any difference on working on this, or do you feel you have more freedom or something? I believe that I receiving much freedom for this project because Ignition trusts me, give me credit a lot. So that's why I'm allowed to, uh, you know, create pretty much freely. Uh, the, the visual style that we can see behind us here, uh, very, very striking, special feel. Is there anything in particular that, that inspired this, this visu these visuals, anything that he thought of? I cannot say any particular thing. Um, I think we are very original, and it's we make it in a very unique style and very original. Uh, can you say anything about the audio? It felt very religious and, and epic and, and so on. Uh, will it be like that throughout the game, or will it be different? 
そうですね、壮大感というのはずっと続きます。Uh, we keep the epicness throughout the game, but、uh, there will be a lot of variety in the music. So, what you're hearing right now is not the only one.、Uh, the, the game controls are the simple, it's a simple layout. Uh, could you explain the, the reasons why they wanted to go with、uh, one attack button, one jump button, and guard? I thought in, in my long experience in the game development, I was thinking that、uh, many people lose their chance to play the game just because the control system is very complicated. I wanted to make something that you can, anyone can play without reading the manual. I wanted to make something accessible for everyone.、Uh, but I still understand that there is a system with the, the weapons and different enemies that you have to match. Could you explain a little bit about how that works? The only way to acquire a weapon or exchange, replace a weapon is. By stealing from the enemy, you can only have one weapon at a time, and you, can, you have to steal the weapon from the enemy. Okay, thank you very much for your time.